We've been keeping a close eye on the laws that will soon go into effect here in the natural state. One gaining national attention in the Youth Hiring Act. Allow Arkansans under the age of 16 to get a job without needing an employment certificate. Tonight, THV 11's Jalissa Garza shows why one business isn't a fan of this new law. Summer is a busy time for businesses in central Arkansas. It's also the time where restaurants like Hill Station hire extra help. And sometimes that means teenagers. Or they start coming around after spring break trying to line something up for the summer, which is great. Owner Daniel Bryant says about 15 to 20 percent of his summer staff is teenagers, and there's a process before they get hired. We would ask them to get the permit, and then which would require a parent's signature and then a description of the type of work they'd be doing, the type of hours they would be doing that during. That process is going to change starting next month once the Youth Hiring Act goes into effect. What the law does is just remove that permission slip from the government. Teenagers younger than 16 will be able to work without that certificate, and State Senator Joshua Bryant says that's a good thing. Yeah, we need to reinstill a work ethic uh, in our children, and removing those barriers and making it easier for employers to hire that child is why I supported the bill. While Daniel Bryant supports teenagers getting their foot in the door and getting a job, he says he doesn't support this law. What I don't understand is what was wrong with the old system. If we never cost us any employees or cost any of the young people their jobs. It was just a matter of getting the parents involved and it also sort of held us accountable on the uh, employer side. Supporters of the bill say kids will still be protected under existing child labor laws. If you have good actors and good employers that want to employ, you know, children under the, you know, over the age of 14, under the age of 16, then they can do that without the, the burden of a government permission slip. But as a parent and business owner, Bryant feels this could take away some accountability. And I do think that this uh, removed a safeguard and I, and I don't be honest, I just don't understand why. And although this law goes into effect soon, Bryant says it won't change his process when it comes to hiring teenagers. But we're going to ask the same questions and we're going to behave the same because the rules, underlying rules and stipulations don't change. In Little Rock, Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News. The law goes into effect on August 1st, along with several others. We have a full list on THV11.com.